earlier today looking very, very nice. It's uh, shaping up to be a really, really nice Halloween evening. It's good that uh, everything's going to wrap up early because I do think we're going to see another slate of very cold overnight lows this morning in Paso Robles. It was 25. That's a new record. What's notable about the record, not only did we really beat the 28 easily, but that it has stood since 1961. This is remarkably cold air. Santa Maria 37, 33 in San Luis, 46 Santa Barbara this morning it was 36 in Goleta, Cuyama and Lompoc froze this morning. Santa Inez as well and Pismo Beach. It was 42, but the recovery was really, really good. 77 in Santa Maria and Slow, 75 Paso, 76 Santa Barbara, 74 Goleta, 67 Cuyama, 75 Lompoc. Pismo 65, 77, Santanez. That's a heck of a recovery. Now temperatures starting to drop again. Why? Clear skies. The winds are going to go light later on tonight and dry air, and that sets us up for these cold overnight lows. So we have these advisories in place. Hard freeze warning. What does that mean? It means we're going to get back into the mid-20s again. We're going to stay there for a few hours. So it's not just the pets and the plants. It's also the pipes that you have to worry about when we get down to hard freeze warning conditions. Frost advisory for the Central Coast. That's slightly less in terms of the concern. However, we don't get that much frost out at the Central Coast, so a lot of folks have outdoor plants that are fairly sensitive. It needs some tending tonight. Freeze warning in the Cuyama Valley as well, meaning we're going to get temperatures right around freezing for a few hours. In terms of where we're going after this, slowly digging out of this over the course of the weekend, probably no advisories once we get into the weekend for Paso Robles, certainly for the Central Coast as well. Average low 42, we don't get there through the entire extended forecast, but at least we're going the right direction. Some changes in the overall pattern. We've had this trough out here in the west. Well, it's starting to slide a little bit further to the east. There's still offshore flow. We still have a few minutes with all of these fire weather warnings in Southern California, but likely those will be dropped at 6 o'clock. Hour by hour tomorrow afternoon's highs in Paso Robles, even though it's going to be very cold to start, we're still going to recover into the middle 70s. The big story here is what's happening with wind. You don't see strong winds either direction. Yes, a little bit offshore, a little bit onshore in the afternoon, but no big numbers in here. And we really need that to get some of the particulate matter out of the air and to finally reduce some of the fire weather risk. Even locally, it was elevated, not nearly as bad as it was in Southern California, but at least we're turning the corner. Mid-70s for much of the area tomorrow. Again, the overnight lows tonight will be chilly at a lot of spots. Freeze likely in the Santa Inez Valley, Cuyama Valley as well. In the five cities and beach communities, well, the beach is probably not a freeze, but again, not far away. AG, Guadalupe, kind of close. Shandon, 28, 26 for Tascadero tonight. You get the idea. Extended forecast here as we get into the weekend, looking pretty good. Temperatures coming down next week. Why? The marine layer returns. Stay right there. We're back after this.